Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art and today we're going to be making a steampunk drawing. Here's an example of what we're going to be making. So I'm going to make a steampunk style seahorse. If you're not quite sure what steampunk is, it's a really cool fantasy kind of style which incorporates aesthetics from steam powered machinery. So you can see cogs and gears, all the machinery and mechanisms are visible. So what we're going to do is start off by drawing the silhouette of our seahorse and then incorporating those aesthetics of the cogs, the gears into that silhouette. So I'm using my seahorse as an example, but you can go through the same process using any kind of animal or any kind of silhouette you like. So to begin, I'm just going to start with a piece of brown craft card. It's got a really nice color to it, especially for this project and a really nice grain where you can see all of those flecks of different colors within it. And it's nice and thick because we'll be using watercolor over the top of this. It will absorb really nicely into the paper. So beginning with a pencil, all I'm going to do is draw the silhouette of my seahorse. So as you can see, this is just a really rough drawing and I'm not worrying too much about that steampunk aesthetic just yet. So once you've got your basic silhouette down of where you're placing your shape, what you're going to do now is use that aesthetic of steampunk, those cogs and gears, those panels, really um, industrial kind of look. And we're going to incorporate that into the shape what I've got here are some wooden cogs and gears. So I'm going to use these to trace some shapes. What you might wanna do if you're working on this at home or in a class is have some images of different parts of machinery, especially old school machinery from the 1950s, the industrial era, and use those as a bit of an inspiration as well. I've got my rough drawing in grey lead pencil. So with your eraser, what you might want to do is just go around any edges that you're not going to keep and just get rid of those. But this is just the base drawing. And what we're going to do now is work over the top of this with some watercolour pencils. And then over the top of that, we're going to work with some pearlescent watercolours. So my process here is to use my watercolour pencils and just outline all the areas that I've got in grey lead. And then I'm going to fill in those areas with the pearlescent. So it's a lot of drawing in this, but it's a really nice and relaxing process, especially if you're using things like the cogs and gears as a guide. And then just adding some little extra pieces in like the exposed panels. It's a really simple way of going about this project and of course you can go into more detail and really look at some images for inspiration to get those fine details. So the colours that I'm choosing are just some really basic ones. So browns, oranges, yellows, just some warmer colours and things that you might find in actual machinery. So your blacks, your greys, but you can perk up the colour a little bit with some of those yellows and oranges, but just stick to really basic colours because we are looking at steampunk. It's not flashy, it's not bright, it's really muted. So just stick to those colourways.
Now that I've just outlined all of my pieces of the seahorse, the silhouette, the cogs and gears and those panels, what I'm going to do is fill in those areas that are empty with some pearlescent watercolour paint. Of course, if you don't have access to something like this or if you've only got coloured pencils, you can just complete the image with coloured pencils or your normal watercolour pencils, but this will just give it a little bit of brightness, which you'll see once it's completed. So just using my watercolours, I'm going to fill in these areas in between the spaces that I've already outlined. So now that I've finished using my watercolours to fill in all those spaces, what I've also done is just used my watercolour pencils to go around some of the outlines again. Because I painted over some of those outlines, I just wanted to use the watercolour to go back over them so we get those really distinguished sections with those pencil. So that can be left as is. You could say that's finished, but if you want to add a little bit more, I've just got these wooden cogs and gears which I've used the pearlescent watercolours on. And what I'm going to do is use super tack, just a little bit of super tack on the back and and stick it over some sections of my drawing. I don't want it to be too busy, so I'm only going to select about four or five of these cogs and gears to stick over the top to give it a little bit more of a 3D element to it. Now we've added a few of these little cogs and gears just to add a little something more to our design. So again, if you wanted to do this with just plain pencils, just plain watercolours, and that's definitely something you can do. It's more about the process of thinking about that steampunk aesthetic, looking at different images that relate to the open panels, the cogs and gears that you'd see in machinery, and then adding that organic element like an animal, or you could decide to use other objects as inspiration as well. But otherwise, I'm quite happy with this. It's a nice drawing project that you could do with upper primary or even secondary level students. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.